This is the Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G. Actually, this is the Redmi Note 10 Pro from two years ago, but with 67 watts fast charging. End of review. You're still here? Okay, let's talk about it. So it's 2023 and Xiaomi decided to bring back the Redmi Note 10 Pro but clothed it differently, adding faster charging and then forgot it's 2023 because it comes with Android 11. Then calls it the Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G. Now it's actually hard to blame them because the Redmi Note 10 Pro was so good they couldn't find a proper upgrade for it. So best to reincarnate it. Now there is actually plenty to complain about this device because of its seemingly outdated specifications but one thing you can't deny is that the Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G while a reincarnation of the almighty Note 10 Pro is still probably one of the best value for money phones at its price. Surprising right? I'll explain why I think so later. The Redmi Note 12 Pro costs 177,000 Naira, that's around the same or actually a little less than the price you'll find in Note 10 Pro, that is if you can still find it. Now one might argue it's actually better to buy the Note 10 Pro than this because even that is already on Android 13 if I'm not mistaken or at the very least Android 12 and it also looks better. But it's scarce to find so I'd say the Note 12 Pro 4G is Redmi's way of making sure those that still want the Note 10 Pro can find this instead. Just weird that it comes with Android 11. There's a 5G version of the Redmi Note 12 Pro that is powered by MediaTek Dimensity 1080 and looks a little different from this and costs more so don't confuse them. The Redmi Note 12 Pro is actually still an okay phone by today's standards as long as you can look past its old software which is actually not bad plus if it's any consolation, 2 years of OS upgrades will bring it up to Android 13. Although as of now there are no updates so we don't even know how serious Redmi will take this and hopefully not push broken software updates. It feels like I've only complained about the device so far but don't mind me, I'm probably just nitpicking. Like I mentioned earlier, it's still one of the best spec devices for its price. There are not many value for money devices priced under 200k in Nigeria which is why I think this is still a recommendable one. The device actually performs great and I've encountered no issues with it so far. You're getting it with the typical Redmi accessories but this time with a 67W fast charging brick. The design is made more similar to recent Redmi devices in its flatness. The camera arrangement though, I reserve my comments. The rear has matte texture but it's not quite smudge resistant. It still has that solid looking AMOLED display common with Redmi Pro devices with a 120Hz refresh rate which is pretty smooth in my experience. Now aside the fact that this is running on Android 11 and MIUI 13, the software experience has actually been smooth and lag free. Much so you might actually want to stick with the software even when an update comes due to the uncertainty of Redmi updates. But of course, I'll post on Twitter when an update comes and if it's safe for you to update should you have one. Some current Note 10 Pro users are complaining of battery drain and heating issues with their MIUI 14 update, so you might want to hold on when you get a software update for this one. Plus, Android 11 is not that far away. With MIUI, it still practically looks the same as their current software for the most part. Now, don't get me wrong, I am not trying to make an excuse for Xiaomi releasing this with outdated software. I still think it should have been Android 13. Just trying to see it from a perspective of a user who wants something affordable that is value enough and is probably not bothered by using the current software, as long as it works fine. There are two RAM options for the Note 12 Pro, 6 or 8 gig, both with 128 gigs of storage and you are able to expand by SD card. It uses a hybrid SIM slot so it's either dual SIM or one SIM and an SD card. The processor powering the Redmi Note 12 Pro is the Snapdragon 732G, a processor which was a top mid-range one two years ago and I'd say still very much relevant today. There is actually no Snapdragon processor right now at this price point better than the 732G, correct me if I'm wrong. Although it doesn't have 5G support, it's still very capable and powers this device quite well. Performance is solid all round. For gaming, it does great, playing your favorite titles at medium to high graphics conveniently. It might heat up when gaming for long sessions but not uncomfortably, at least in my experience. It plays Call of Duty Mobile at very high graphics and very high frame rates. It can go max frame rate if the graphics is set to high. Battery life so far for me has been good and its 67 watts charging comes in handy for fast charging. The Note 10 Pro had 33 watts charging so if charging speeds are that important to you, here's one area where this is improved over the Note 10 Pro. But one thing we've actually not talked about is if this device is actually an upgrade to the Note 11 Pro from last year. The Note 11 Pro 4G actually. 
technically it isn't but depending on how you look at it you know 12 pro 4g is probably a better device except for its older software but it's probably not one you should drop your redmi Note 11 pro in favor of you know, 12 pro is packed with a 108 megapixel main camera 8 megapixel for its ultra wide 2 megapixel macro and depth sensors and a 16 megapixel selfie camera i'd say the camera performance is great and actually looks a bit better than what i remember from the new 10 pro it handles skin tones better and images look well processed with satisfying color representation of course the Note 10 pro should still be just as good i don't have it to do a direct comparison to confirm if the newer is actually better since i let go of my Note 10 pro about a year ago in those though you might experience some inconsistencies with skin tones the selfie performance also looks better than I remember as it does a better job with skin tones and details as long as you disable the default beauty filters. Also HDR processing doesn't always work but when it does, it's great. The Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G can shoot 4K videos but only from its rear camera, shooting at 4K 30fps. It doesn't have optical image stabilization so unless you got really stable hands or use a tripod, you might need to record in 1080p for better software stabilization. Its selfie camera is only able to shoot 1080p 30fps. Okay, so this is what it looks like filming with the selfie camera of the Redmi Note 12 Pro 4G. I think it's a 16 megapixel camera. Yeah, I think it's 16. Uh, it can only shoot 1080p 30 frames per second that's the maximum you can do from the selfie if you want to shoot 4k you can use the rear cameras which can go as high as 4k 30 fps so camera looks good uh, not so sure on hdr but from viewfinder it looks decent uh, what also do you think about the mic quality I have my reservations about the Note 12 Pro 4G but most of it is just due to the fact that it's on older software. Specs wise, it measures up and actually offers great value for the price. I feel Redmi should have probably named it the Note 10 Pro 2023 because that's what it basically is. But I guess calling it the Note 12 Pro 4G is better for marketing. Do I recommend it? Yes, if it falls within your budget. There are not many phones at this price point right now that will give you as good performance all around as the Note 12 Pro 4G. As long as you can manage the fact that it's on Android 11 and won't get past Android 13 while managing your expectations on the software updates, I say you should be fine. When Samsung's A24 becomes available, I'll probably compare both as they are similarly priced. Check here to see my review on the regular Note 12 and here for the Note 12 Pro Plus 5G. Peace.